In this video I'm going to show you how you can add an email contact form to your website X5 software program. So rather than enter a raw email address onto your website, which can then be accessed by spammers who will send you dozens of spam emails every day, you can add a contact form which essentially hides the email address yet sends the message directly to your email account. So first thing you need to do is to open up your website X5 software program. I'm using the um, version Evolution version 16 which is the latest one as of 2018. If you're using a slightly older version or even using a newer version years ahead, the process may be slightly different, but it should be near enough the same. So the first thing you want to do is to add a contact page. Now you can add a contact form to basically any page you want to. In my case, I just want to add one contact page. So I've added a contact page here through the map. So the first thing I did is basically to add a little bit of text that's describing what this page is about. I'll just give a quick preview. So I just put some basic text here on what um, this page is about and how you can contact me. Now basically now what I want to do is to add a contact form below this message here. So what I want to do is go back to the map. Again, select my contact page. Now what I want to do now is I want to basically drag the contact form option here from these little widgets down to the number two box here. Now the contact form can be found through the main page content so it's usually the first one that's displayed on the list so let's click on the little icon. Now we want to add a couple of contact options. Now if you just want to add a basic email contact option all you need to do is basically to add a text area and an area where they can add their email address so what I'm going to do here is click on the add option. And what I want to do is select the text area. Now I want to give the text area a name on the label here. So I'm going to put enter your message into this box here. So it describes what the person who wants to contact you, what they want to do. I can also set here set mandatory fields. So they have to enter the information unless the box, unless the um, form won't work. I can also choose how many characters they can enter and the number of rows. So if I, if I increase the number of rows to five, this makes the box a little bit bigger. So I've done that one, click OK. Now go back to the add option and select email address. So again, I'm going to put some text in here describing what they need to do. So enter your email address. Again, set as mandatory unless you don't want them to enter email email address but obviously if you need to reply to them they need to enter email address so click on there click OK so basically now we have some basic information such as, such as a text area and an email address so what you want to do now from the top toolbar here select send now what you need to do here is to enter your email address now you cannot enter a, a free email address such as Gmail or Yahoo or basically any kind of email address. It has to be an email address from your domain name. I don't know the reasons why this doesn't work, but it only works with your domain name email address. So basically, click the little sender email address here and then click that box here and then enter your email address from your domain name. Do not enter any other email address as a Gmail or Yahoo account as it won't work. As for the subject matter, just, just enter anything you want. I'll just put email. You can also choose a message. This is the kind of subject and message you will receive, not, not the person um, sending the email. So, um, In terms of the person sending the message, you can also choose whether you can send them an automatic re reply. That's totally up to you if you want to um, do that. So just again, click on that, click on that, click on that, and then enter the email address where the reply is going to come from. Then enter the message. I personally choose, prefer to keep that empty. You can also down here enable um, a spam option, which basically just displays a few numbers. Um, I'll show you how you can do that a little later on. You can also choose here a confirmation page after the per after the person sends the message. In my case, I've created a separate little page called "Your message has been received." If you don't want that, you can just um, redirect people back to your homepage. 
So all that information is done here. So again, click on style. Now style is basically how the box will look. I'll just give a little preview of what it looks like. You can see here now there's a box where people can enter their message and their email address and they can click on the send button. If you want to increase the size of the text or this, this kind of some style of the box, you can do so for the style option. So here I'm going to choose to increase the text size to 16. As you can see here, it looks a lot better. Let's go back to that. You can choose the text color and so on. There's lots of other options here you can fiddle around with. So if we go down the fields, you can, for example, here you can choose a border color, the thickness of the border and so on. You can see the, the different border kind of thickness. You can choose whether it's curved. So I'm just going to reduce the curve a little bit. You can also increase the margins. You can include a drop shadow if you want to. You can choose the border color down here. I'm going to choose black. I think it looks better than that. So that one's done. You can go, you can also choose the send button, what, what it kind of looks like. You can see here, you can enter the send or you can add, add you know, send email or whatever. So I'll just put send. You can also increase the text size again. So I'm going to choose 16. You can choose the text color, the background color, and so on. I'm just going to choose black. Yeah, and you can choose to have it in the center. You can also um, choose background image. So this have this is have a quick preview of what that looks like now. So that looks a little bit better than the original. So again, the uh, person who wants to contact you will enter their message and their email address and click on the send button. So basically, we've we've pretty much done what we want to do on this page. So click the arrow. There are some other options you need to go through, or you don't have to, but um, I recommend you do. So click on template, which is number two, and click on the email layout. Now on the email layout, this is the kind of email you will receive and also the email you can send back to the person who's contacted you. So again, you can see here, I've added, actually added my logo. So you can see here, there's options here add your logo so you can just click on the little file icon and upload a logo from your computer you can also choose to have it in the center inside the frame and so on and you can see message contents here as well you can increase the text size that's the kind of size which you'll receive in your email and you can also choose to add a footer note basically this is the default text which is added to the footer note basically saying this email is private and so on. You can also change that, you can increase the size of that again. So that's some options you can do there, which I, I recommend you can do as it kind of makes the email look more professional. So that one's done there, so I'm going to go back to the security feature which you can um, add to your email. So click on number one which is settings, then go down to privacy and security, then go to security and you can see here there's an option for a um, security code. So you can either choose the website X5 or you can choose one from Google. Now bear in mind the one with Google, you need to sign up with Google and you need to enter the key and the secret and so on. And um, that's our, that's our kind of image which displays kind of images and asks you to select a certain kind of, whether it's a, a bus or a car or, and so on. Or you can just choose the website X5 one as I said before. You can also choose the rules, such as how many numbers and characters and so on. So click on that again. If I go back to my um, contact form, click on the contact form. You can see here, enable the um, anti-spam filter. So I'm going to click on that. Click on that. If I go to my preview, you can see here there's some letters which you have to type into the box here before you can send the email. That will help to reduce spam. So I'm quite happy with that now, how, how that looks. So I'm just going to quickly publish my website.
Okay, I've now published my website and hopefully the contact form will be visible on my website. So let's, so let's take a quick look. Okay, if I scroll down to the bottom of my page and select the contact option. We should then see there's my contact form. So if I just give it a quick test, so you can basically add anything you like into the box. I just add a fake email address for now. Then I fill out the form. And I send the email. As you can see, it then gets redirected to the page I created, which is just basically says your message has been received with some basic text on the bottom. So if I go into my email account and just select get messages, you can see there's an email I just sent myself. So if I just click on that, you can see that the logo that I entered into the um, settings page is displayed and the message is down here. So really, you know, it's a nice little feature, helps reduce spam and kind of makes your emails look more professional. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.